The next paper is along the same line, also an assignment for you to watch. It's about trying to make RCNN faster. The idea is the same as before. So it's about saving computation or taking an image and pushing it only once through the convolutional layers. You're gonna have some fully connected layers that are giving you the softmax and the bounding box regressor. Uh, this fully connected layer here is gonna have a, have a deterministic or a pre-specified input size. So it's gonna only accept vectors of a particular size. This region of interest pooling, its job is to divide the feature map within this box in such a way that you're gonna end up with a, a feature or you can call it an ROI pooling feature map, which has a particular size such that H times W is gonna give you the correct input size for your fully connected network. So this is similar to before, but now you are doing your pooling operations only once. You don't do it. You don't divide your feature map into different resolutions. So you do it only once compared to before. What else? If you remember with RCNN, you had uh, these support vector machines in the end. You can actually get rid of those support vector machines and do everything using deep neural network. The last layer doesn't have to be a support vector machine. It can be the classification layer and the bounding box regression layer. And then you're gonna adjust these bounding boxes and the corresponding probability according to a cross entropy loss and a smooth L1 loss, which is locally L2, but then as you get further away from zero, it's gonna become L1. And then there is also how do you actually backpropagate through an ROI pooling layer, which is a minor detail. But here, what is your data? What is actually your input data are these regions of interest. So per each image, you could have multiple regions of interest. And those regions of interest, those boxes are actually your data. Any questions about this one? So if you're outputting both a softmax for the category and a bounding box, is how is that still considered a two-stage detector? This is two-stage. That's a great question. This figure is actually one stage. What, what makes this two stage is the external uh, proposal network or proposal algorithm, which is proposing bounding boxes to you. So first of all, you need to know your bounding boxes. Maybe there are two thousands of them and these are coming from an external algorithm. I see, thank you. Yeah. 